Hey guys, this is Shannon with Nearly Organic Noshing, and one of our wonderful customers sent me a bunch of cabbages that they are growing on their farm. Um, these were too small for them to sell um, like to the farms or to the farmer's market, and they had a bunch of these smaller cabbages, which are perfectly fine for us. Um, St. Patrick's Day is coming up this weekend, so I'm sure I will take some of this to do uh, corned beef and cabbage. But tonight, I am going to make some coleslaw with it. And I already have um, some pork steaks uh, defrosted in the fridge. And I think I'm going to put them on the grill. I'm not sure. It's getting a little cold outside. Not really cold. I'm just, you know, I'm being a wuss and <laughs> don't want to go stand out in the cold. So I uh, I may do that. It, it just depends. I also don't want to have to babysit the grill. And I have to babysit the grill. So... We'll just see how much time I have because it's also pie day. So I thought I would surprise the family with some homemade apple pie. I went ahead and pulled out one jar. I may pull a second jar out of some of my homemade apple fat pie filling, which is dusty on top. And I have to make some pie crust. And I'm going to pull out some of my homemade canned maple beans to serve with this. So I really should have made this coleslaw yesterday. Um, for it to set up, you know, the longer it sits in the fridge for a day or so, um, it just tastes better. And excuse my mess of a kitchen. We have been go, go, go. And normally this thing over here is full of fruits and vegetables and it has been my catch all. Um, <laughs> so that my counters are somewhat clean. If it does not belong, it's just gone in this basket until I can get a chance to clear it. And there was my son's to-do list and I think like one thing has gotten done on it so far because his truck has been broken and he's been working on his truck and chores have not been getting done around here. So I've got to just kick it into gear tonight after dinner and get some stuff knocked out. So but first I'm going to go ahead and make some coleslaw and I probably don't need too too much. I'm going to use at least one head. I'm going to I might use one of the bigger heads. Let me see here. I probably will just go ahead and use this one and save some of these um, smaller ones because I think I have like five. One, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So seven. <laughs> seven small heads of cabbage. I think I may have to share some of these with uh, my mother. <laughs> because there's no way we're going to go through this much cabbage before it goes bad and we don't love sauerkraut. I am not a huge fan. My mom likes it and Chris likes it a little bit but I made sauerkraut two years ago and we're just now getting down to like the last four cans for four jars of it. I'm not making sauerkraut anymore so unless someone specifically requests it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and start this, get it washed and clean, and get it going in the food processor. I drag it out of the pantry um, and have it plugged in. I'm going to go ahead and get my onions and my carrots and some, uh, some of the stuff that I'm going to make the slaw with. I don't really follow a recipe, but I will show you what I pull out of the cabinet. Okay, guys. Um, this is that one head of cabbage, and I did four carrots. Um, and just a little bit of onion. I do not like raw onion and since I'm going to be eating this, I'm going to do it the way I like it also. So there is no, um, not a lot of raw onion in here and what is is cut, cut up like so, so, so tiny because I cannot stand to bite into a raw onion. Now uh, sauteed or onion powder or onion flavor, I'm good with but I just don't eat them raw. So that is what this is. And there are some bigger pieces in here. That's just the way the food processor was doing. Um, and I'm not going to go and pick them all out. Um, and then what I'm going to add to that is I have some spicy brown mustard, some raw sugar, some real mayo, some um, raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar. I have some celery seed and I have salt and pepper. So I'm just going to dump that into here. Um, I don't measure. 
I'll probably put like half a cup of mayo and half a cup of yogurt and then everything else will just be to taste. And then I'll get this bowl in the fridge so it can start setting up while I cook everything else. Okay guys, this is what it looks like all mixed. I did pull some lemon juice out and add that in. I wanted it just to have a little bit more tang to it. And um, I added quite a bit of the apple cider vinegar. There's probably at least a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar in here. And it is so good if I do say so myself. So I hope I have enough of this. I'm pretty sure I do. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it in here and get it all mixed up. Okay guys, this is what it looks like all mixed up. I added just a touch more salt and a little bit more pepper once I had it all mixed together. It just needed just a tiny little bit more. So it is almost eight o'clock. It is like six minutes to eight. I got in late from work, so I am just gonna have to hustle to knock the rest of this out and maybe we'll be eating dinner by 8.30. So this daylight savings time thing is kicking my butt. Um, you practically need a cattle prod to get me out of bed in the morning. I am like sleeping through my alarm clocks and then I'm working late in the day um, and I was out messing with the chickens and doing stuff out in the yard and stuff when I got off work and, uh, and now I need to get dinner knocked out. Okay, I've now made this huge disaster, but I made a pie crust in like eight minutes and it's in the oven. Um, I have a little bit left over. I'm gonna roll this out, cut it into strips um, and put it on top of the apple pie, but I'm like par cooking the crust so that the crust is going to be crispier. So it's in the uh, oven right now. I'm gonna clean up this mess and I just did a quickie Crisco crust um, it was like one cup of flour. I think I used a little over a cup of flour, a half a cup of Crisco, a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter cup of water. And then just quickly rolled it out. It is super ugly, um, but it is in the pan, in the oven. And once I dump the pie filling on top of it, you won't know what it looks like. So I'm going to clean this up and move on. Okay guys, these are those pork steaks that I defrosted. I'm seasoning them with salt, pepper, and paprika. And then of course I decided to do the one vegetable that takes longer than anything else because I had to um, um, take the ends off and <laughs> get these ready. So I used up the last of that onion from the coleslaw and I'll add some garlic in here later and there's a little bit of um, bacon grease in here but there's water because I steam kind of the vegetables first and then I let all of the moisture evaporate. By then the green beans are softened a little bit and the grease is left behind from the bacon and it just kind of coats everything and then crisps up. And this is just a fast way of doing the baked beans. I have a little bit more bacon grease um, melting over here in this pan and I'm getting ready to put the pork steaks on. I'm gonna quickly cook them on each side and then I'm gonna cover them in some of uh, that, what was it, apple bourbon, apple bourbon, oh Lord, it's just going out of my head, salsa, apple bourbon salsa. Um, and then I'm gonna pop it in the toaster oven on broil and let it go ahead and cook through. Okay guys, the pork steaks are looking really good and this is what I'm going to put on top of them and then pop them in the toaster oven and let them kind of caramelize. It, I got this from Aldi's. Um, during the Sutton Stays Pantry Challenge, I did this and did pork steaks on the grill, but I just I don't have the time to do that tonight. It is 8.35 right now and I'd like to have dinner done in the next mm, 10 to 15 minutes at the most so we'll have dessert later I know the apple pie is going to take a little bit to make but I'm about ready to take the crust out and I can pop this in while I'm finishing up the apple pie and then by the time this is done I'll be able to turn the oven down and put the apple pie back in and everything else will be done okay guys this is our dinner tonight we have sauteed garlic onion green beans with homemade coleslaw apple bourbon pork steaks, some 
buttered mushrooms and dessert is still in the oven and I'll show you what that looks like whenever it comes out. Okay guys, here is dessert. Started dishing it up already. Uh, homemade apple pie with Cool Whip on top and a cup of coffee.